Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I did a video. I wanted to bring you guys in, kind of give you an update on what's going on here. So, when I kind of revamped the whole game, started from scratch, wanted to get it so we can make it so we can log in and play on an online server, kind of build the game that way so I don't run into any issues trying to make it online later. As you can see now, we've got a player, we're logged in. And as we hover over these trees, we can see the trees and we can also see where in the server the tree is. For example, this is tree four. So the server knows if I were to click on that tree that I would be clicking on tree two, tree four, this one, tree five. That's just where they are in the database, basically. Now, if I go over here, click on one of these, oh, they say undefined right now, let's fix that. We click on one of these axes and pick it up and the map will refresh. Yeah, just that way that nobody else can pick up the same thing that I just picked up. Now you see over here in my hotbar I now have an axe. Let's get another uh, player logged in here. And we'll log, let's log them in here. And we can see our other player if we split screen this real quick. Okay, Windows. Alright, now I got it split screen. Let's refresh our players here because it doesn't refresh when we change the window size. So now he can see me running around. I can see him running around. I can actually wave at him. If I press the V key and go forward here. Now, if I pick up the axe, this player here won't be able to to get the axe anymore. So I'm going to pick up the player the axe here. Now the axe is gone for everybody and only the player on the right side has the axe. And the server knows which player has the axe. So when we make it so you can use your hotbar and pull out your something that's in your inventory, we'll be able to see that this guy has the axe. For example, if I go into my console here and just go and t see with the local user inventory and he has two objects now every player starts with a sample object just so I could get this it's a test item and but this player has a common axe So this here, this is pretty much why it's taking me so long to get back to making videos. I've been just working a long, lot on getting my rig set up. I did some major PC upgrades. Let's see if I can get this case open to show you guys. Basically, what we did here is we got the MSI, what is it, Z87 G43 motherboard. So we were able to pick up a pretty cheap processor. We got an i5, I want to say 5300K running up there, and we've got the Gigabyte, what is it, a GTX 1050, and we upgraded our power supply, 550 watt MXF1. Uh, we also installed, where is it, where is it, we've got the Patriot Flare rocking in there, 60 gigabyte SSD, super cheap, can barely fit anything besides the OS on there, but it works. Um, other than that, we've got 8 gigabytes of Patriot, I think that's SLI already, I'm not sure, I'm not using it in SLI. So it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, and we got this. What do we got? Strong Ener Ener Max cheapo case. Found while digging around. Um, I'll see if I can show you guys what I was running on before, and you'll really understand how this is a huge upgrade. Okay, yeah. So it's out here. This is what I was. This is what I was running on before. The Dell Inspiron 530. And I was running it 
basically in stock. I had that GTX in there as a graphics card because this does not support 3JS, which was amazing. Yeah, I mean, this thing, it does a lot. It can do a lot. I mean, it can handle the whole server and everything, but it just can't do the graphics. And I don't even know if it's a Celeron in there or a Pentium 2. I forget by now, but it's not even an i-series processor. So, I mean, we're really, really rocking now.